Welcome back guys, welcome back to Don Amots. I'm James, it's Wendy behind the camera. On this lovely boiling hot afternoon, we're gonna have a look <laughs> at this, <laughs> yeah exactly, with my woolly hat and my big coat on, we're gonna have a look at this lovely auto trail scout. Now, a couple of things just to bear in mind before I go any further, you will need your C1 license to drive this with a weight of four and a half kg, or 4,500 kg, you know what I mean you will need your extra license with it. Now, the length of this is 8.07 meters. So it's a pretty long van, but you'll see inside, you've got everything you'll ever want. It's literally a home on wheels. Yeah. It's a four traveling, six sleeping van. So you can get the world and everyone else come with you. <laughs> anyway, so it's on the Fiat Ducato. It's a 2024 model. It's got the Expedition Grey, so it isn't typically this colour. So it looks really nice, looks really different. It's also matted with the automatic nine-speed Fiat gearbox. Really good gearbox. If you want an automatic, by far these are one of the best gearboxes on the market. They're cracking. It's the 2.3 diesel and it's 140 brake horsepower. So absolutely plenty, perfect for what you need. You've got the alloy wheels as well. And being a scout, you've got your twin leisure batteries. We've got it plugged in at the moment so I can show you all the functions inside, all being lit up as well. But you've got a massive locker there. Coming further back, you have an even larger locker just back here. And that goes the whole width of the van, yeah. really deep. And you've got four anchorage points in there as well. It's, it's a brilliant space, especially obviously being a large van, you're going to take loads of stuff with you. Perfect. Coming around the back, one thing I do like about these, spare wheel holder, so you've got easy access to it, you know, in the case that the worst happens. Fingers crossed it doesn't, but it's there. Reversing camera up at the top as well, and a lovely large rear window. So people who know about motorhomes will know straight away that's got the lovely large U-shaped lounge as well. So again, brilliant. Coming back through here, you'll see in there, Again, obviously just the other side of the garage, just so you've got access from both sides, nice and easy. Again, those of you who know will know these come with the Audi heating system. Wet system, like a radiator system at home, really toasty, really warm. Coming, oh sorry, that's one thing I missed, I apologise. Just next to that, you've got your outside barbecue point. Obviously that's on the side where you have your awning, so these have them already built in and they obviously extend out. So you've got your garage space and your outside barbecue all on the side of the awning. So perfect. Gas locker, so you can fit two six kg bottles in there. Plenty. So coming round, obviously you've got your electric habitation step that we've already pulled out. Now, before Wendy goes in, you've got your fly screen on the door, most important. And secondly, your bin with your dustpan and brush hidden away inside as well. All right, after you, Wendy. So, we've got all the lights on turned in here. I'm just going to shut the door because it is a bit brisk. Yeah, freezing. Now, I've left the ladder out, but if Wendy sticks the camera just around to the side of that, you can see the dashboard. So, you'll initially see, obviously, the automatic gear stick. So, lacking a third pedal, which is good news. You've got your lovely large Accent touch screen so within that you have apple carplay uh, android auto so then obviously depending on what's on your phone you can put your sat nav on there google maps apple maps what have you connect all your contacts through there your music your spotify cracking system you've got air conditioning built into the cab as well and you've also got cruise control in there it, pretty much everything you expect of a normal car on the two side windows and on the windscreen, you do have blinds as well. So they're concertinaed back, so they just fit into the sides. So you don't need the, you know, the bit of a faff silver screens. You've got the blinds already inbuilt. Now, just coming above Wendy, so if you follow that ladder up, I'll try not to lose her. <laughs> you've got a lovely large bed there as well. No, so, it yeah, it does. So I haven't folded the mattress out at the moment, but it turns into a large double bed. Where you've got a couple of lights up at the top on the left hand side as well yeah. and you've got that lovely large skylight that does open so on a lovely sunny day it's wonderful yeah. now where we've got the ladder at the moment that whole item 
push his back. So if any of you are sitting there going, oh, I'm going to bash my head on that when I get off out the driver's chair, you're not because you do exactly what Wendy's just done. And then you could also use it for a bit of storage. Yeah. Um, you yeah. know, if you're not going to be using it as a bed, you can put all your clobber up there yeah. and you've got loads of space. All right. Normally you'd put the ladder up there, but as Wendy's there, I'm not... no, it's okay. Don't worry. Um, so coming round, lovely, large cupboards. Yeah. They're really deep, really deep. And then you've got three more coming down this side. Thank you, Wendy. It has, so that's all your control, your sergeant control unit, shall I say. Yeah. And while I'm thinking about it, this does have solar panel as well for your charging. There's a couple of USB points in there as well. And you'll notice as we go along, you've got loads of different places to charge, to plug accessories in. You're never going to go without. Coming around to your cooking side. So you've got three hob gas burner with a hot plate. Just bear in mind the hot plate, your microwave, and your three pin plugs will only work when you're plugged into electricity. So we're plugged in at the moment, so it'd work perfectly fine. If you're wild camping, those three items just aren't gonna work. Mm -hmm. Separate hob and separate oven. And then you've got massive shelving units and drawers yeah. as well. And that also follows round to just where I'm standing. So it's a bit skew whiff of where Wendy's standing. Okay. That's my fault. Right. And then that. It's like spices yeah. rack, it's brilliant yeah. personally. Yeah. And then to the side of Wendy, now this obviously creates another bed as well, but <clears> for the minute we've got it in your dining capacity. Um, you've got your extra two seat belts here, so that's why I say it's four belted, you've got the two here and obviously the two behind Wendy in the cab. This table just clips onto your rail just there so that can be removed so you don't have to have that there but it's brilliant obviously for a dining space all right follow me back so if you do want to separate these two areas as well really easy that just clips back in place so you've got some privacy in there you've got another freestanding table yeah so again you could use that back behind me here yeah. or you could put that outside under your awning mm -hmm. just means you don't have to carry anything more up here Russell Hobbs microwave really good microwave it looks really fancy as well in my mm -hmm. opinion yeah. and then so just like at home separate freezer mm -hmm. with your separate fridge it probably is bigger than my one at home to be fair <laughs> but it's massive which you'd expect for this size of van yeah. Right, if we do the shower room first, yeah. Wendy, probably for ease. Okay. So you've got separate shower and separate toilet. So none of this wet room. It is two separate items. You've got your lovely large shower screen, as you can see there. Massive vanity mirror that's backlit and side lit. Huge basin. And then you've also got a cupboard underneath to put all your gear. Yeah, lovely. It is. And you've got a massive skylight in there as well. So yeah. it's always going to be very bright. And then just to the side of us... Sorry, Wendy. Mm -hmm. Now, one little thing I do like about this cupboard, let me, if Wendy just stands back a little bit there, yeah. she'll see it. Don't know if you can tell, that light goes off. It is that yeah. one, when you open it. Yeah, little funny. features that make a big difference. That's part of your Audi heating system back there, so don't worry too much about that. And they're the inserts for your bed. Yeah. More importantly, wow. you've got a Wi-Fi unit. So it's cracking. So that's your wardrobe, so lovely large hanging space. And then below us, we've got these three really deep drawers, which to be fair, my missus would probably use for shoes. Yeah, they are. They are a cupboard door. And again, still plenty of space in there. Now, coming further back, so this is a, your U-shaped lounge. This creates another double bed. In all fairness, you could probably have it as two singles as well if you took mm -hmm. the back supports off. Mm -hmm. But most people, I guess, will use it as a double. I've also seen a lot of people always leave this made up as a double. So it is a fixed bed in essence and then use the front lounge. Personal preference. Yeah. There is a television back here. I'll show you a place for another television in a moment before we go. But you've got plug socket up there, 12 volt, and obviously your aerial. Now above us, we've got all these cupboards. Oh, yeah. really spacious. 
these two don't have shelves in them, which to be fair is good because you've got shelving units in the remainders and you've got your lovely fancy glasses as well. Yeah, they're nice. And it's just a lovely large area. You know, if there are six of you, you've got loads of room. You're never yeah. going to be pushed for space. And you've got little holders all back here as well. Same on that yeah. side, which I think are brilliant. And you've got these little spotlights that you can move around. Curtains, obviously, on all these windows. And you do have blackout blinds and also fly blinds as well. Yeah. All these windows open. And then you're probably going, James, I want even more space to hold stuff. Yeah, okay, <laughs> can do that. So underneath here, obviously that's your boiler system, so you're not yeah. going to put it there, but that leads you to your outside garage space. Mm -hmm. So you can also leave stuff in there and get it inside, out if it's... Yeah, yeah exactly. So slow, it is going to be miserable for a fair bit of weather in this country. <laughs> Perfect. Lovely large skylight above my head. That opens as well, and again, fly blinds and blackout blinds. So the rule of thumb I always have, if you've got a window, you'll have a blackout blind. If it opens, you'll also have a fly blind as yeah. well. There's another one just behind Wendy's head, yeah. just up top. So again, albeit we've got the lights on in here, they are very bright vans. You've not really got, apart from this, much dark in here. No. They do feel modern. Last but not least, this is your extra television place. So you could also stick a telly in there. So you could move the one from back there, yeah. pop it in there, or have another one. Just meaning, you know, if you've got the kids with you, if you yeah. both like watching different things, ideal. Control system up here. Now, this is the new style of control system from Auto Trails. So it looks like a small like iPad kind of thing. Um, but in there, it will show you everything and you can go all through. It's really easy. Oh, it's good. And there we go. And you can literally see everything. Really yeah. simple. And then you've got your heating. I won't go through that for the minutes. I haven't got it turned on, yeah. but it's again really simple. Oh, sink. That's what I didn't show you. <laughs> so yeah, it's got a sink. Um, lovely large <laughs> sink. Obviously, that's for drying. Yeah. And obviously you've got your drying board yeah, on the side. They're really nice fans. If you want something that's really plush, upmarket, sleeps a good amount of people and travels a good amount of people, I don't think you can go wrong with a scout. Um, obviously, bear in mind, you do need that extra part of your license, but if you've got it, what a wonderful van. This will be on our showground a little later today, so feel free, come down, ask us about it, give us a call, we'll happily run through any specs. If you've got a part exchange, run through some monthly figures for you as well, please feel free to ask. I'm James, that's Wendy, and yeah, thank you.